doing well. So tonight we're on the old Mao. I've got a bottle here as well to try. That's the next one. Um, Mao on the perfect draft. Coming in at 5.1% ABV. It was 38 quid, I think, for the keg. Uh, take your discount off your five or whatever it is, sort of. 10 percent is it now i think you get what that it's about three quid a pint give or take so they're about on your five or back could be wrong don't shoot the messenger but anyway mal on the perfect draft three degrees looks like a lager it's very sort of got a slight golden color decent level of carbonation sort of one finger Quite a nice fluffy white head. Let's have a whiff, shall we? It smells sweet. A bit kind of a bit of corn, maybe. Am I detecting potentially? Kind of sweet, a bit malty. Very subtle. Mainly sweet with a bit of such kind of like a Sweet corn. Pardon me. A bit of kind of zesty. Ever subtle, very subtle citrusiness going on. Looks all right. It's a Spanish lager. 5.1%, three degrees on the PD. You know, it's, I don't know. It's just stuck in, shall we? Cheers. It's okay. It's by no means bad. It's got a sort of medium body to it. Quite a very highly carbonated, but <clears throat> sweet malty. And this is like lemon, like a lemon zestiness. There is a bit of a, I don't know, like a, yeah, like a, something else there, like a, let's go again. Zesty for sure, slightly zesty, kind of lemon zest coming through, sweet malt, light to sort of medium body, very easy drinking, medium carbonation I'd say, it's very easy drinking though. But there is something else there like a... I'm not sure, I don't want to call it an off taste, but like a, I don't know, something that's like a, give me a bit of a clagginess, like, I don't know what it is, could it be syrup or something maybe, I, I really don't know, could they maybe put something else in there to make it sweet, I really do not know. It's not unpleasant, not really the right beer for this time of year, let's face it. It's just all right. It's a very typical Spanish lager. It's fairly easy drinking, very refreshing. You could easily smash a few back, you know, no bother. It's probably six, six out of ten, somewhere around there. It's not awful, it's not amazing, but it's just above average. It's, uh, yeah, there's not a lot going on to be fair. It's very much just a sort of typical Spanish session lager, yes, but you know, it's the kind of thing you drink 
a huge one of few beers, don't really care about what you're drinking, just want to kick back with a few mates, have a bit of a chat, or watching a film or something. You know, it does the job of you, you know, you you know you're on a beer, you've three or four of these, you know, it's um but it's not gonna blow you away. Wanna buy it again, probably maybe in the summertime, but not not anytime soon. It's it's all right, it's just nothing great. It's very, very average. It's I say it's just a lager, isn't it? It doesn't hold the candle to any of your German lagers, it's a Spanish summer drinking lager. Fuck knows why they brought it out in November. I ain't got a clue, but there you go. Mal, it's okay. It's not amazing. It's just okay. It's a solid six out of ten. I might do start the rating beers and stuff because I feel like people prefer it if I give it a rating. Let me know. Do you want me to start rating beers or do you want me to just like like out of ten or do you want me to say it's good, it's shit, it's indifferent? Let me know. Cheers, guys. Look after yourself. I'll catch you next time.